current list of personnel that are assigned to your brigade. To do that, we're going to go to personnel. We're going to query personnel information. And then to keep this as simple as possible, all you've got to do is select the check block under personnel parameters, range parameters. We're going to select everything. Location parameters, select everything. Skip the IET parameters and select assignment parameters. And finally, under DMSL, type in your brigade's DMSL. In this case, it's 1 1 Charlie for 1st Brigade, 1st Cab that we're demonstrating. And then you click the search field, and it will pull up and count the personnel that it pulled up. So enlisted personnel in that brigade is 4,755. And then you go right up here to export all and click the export all button and it will export that spreadsheet to Excel. That's all it is to it. Just check block those sections on the web EDAS and then input your DMSL and that's all it is to it to pull the enlisted personnel. So also, while we're in here, let's go ahead and pull the enlisted gains. So let's go to Assignment. And again, check Assignment Parameters. Select Range Parameters. Select Location Parameters and personnel parameters. Under DMSL, type in your DMSL and click the search button. And if that was too fast and because it's YouTube, you can slow it down or go back and watch those steps over again. And it will list all of your enlisted gains. So my requisition record count is 300. So there are 300 name and SSNs on assignment to my brigade. Again, we're going to export all and it's downloading that information in my documents. That's all there is to grabbing your enlisted personnel and your enlisted gains data for the BSM-2. Again, from flash to bang, should only take you about two or three minutes to pull that data out of WebEDAS.